Hey guys, it's Elizabeth here. Hi, Claire. So we're here at Bumble and Bumble, the salon in New York City. We're so pumped because we're getting our hair done. We're gonna try out some of their power products, right? Yeah, my hair is super flat and really fine, so I'm trying out their dry spine texturizing spray. Okay, and mine is curly, color treated, and it can get frizzy, so I'm gonna try out their invisible oils. So you guys can actually earn some products too, but let's go check out the salon. We're here with stylist Misha G. She's gonna be doing our hair. What are we doing? Cool, so um, we're downtown in the meatpacking at Bumble and Bumble, and today we're gonna do two different styles. For Claire here, we're gonna do a super textured ponytail using thickening dry spun finish. Ooh, so um, excited. I call it hair Velcro because it gives a lot of uh, lift and texture. And then for Elizabeth, we're gonna do the complete opposite. We're gonna go super sleek. Sleek hair, ooh, I can't wait. Yeah. So first I'm just re-wetting her hair down with just some water and detangling it and then I'm going to go through with the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. I am wetting her hair before I apply the primer because applying the primer on dry hair to wet it completely would make the hair a little bit too soft. But this is good for girls with coarse, curly, with frizzy, coarse, dry frizzy, hair. thick hair. Primers are really nice for the hair because it kind of works. Um, like a primer for the face or a primer for a wall before you paint. It evens out the porosity and makes a nice clean canvas for other products to go on top of. So I'm just spraying it um, throughout the hair and then I'm going to go through and comb it through and then I'll start putting on the hairdresser's invisible oil. How much should you spray on your hair? Spray it until you feel like the hair is coated sufficiently and also protects from heat. So if you put it on before any heat styling, it will protect the hair from heat as well. Hmm. So now we're going to put in the BB Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. It's a blend of six oils and it softens, it fights frizz, and it tames hair. And I like it because it's in a pump application. I'm starting to apply it from the mid shaft to the ends where the majority of the product's going to go. And then whatever's left on my hands, I'm just going to run it through the top. You never want to start applying from the roots to the ends because you want a majority of the product down here versus up on the top where the scalp naturally produces oil. So I really like how the invisible oil is dual purpose because I like to wear my hair straight, I like to wear it curly, I don't wash it every day, so I really love that I can use it both ways. Definitely. It's very lightweight but adds a lot of moisture to the hair. Um, the hairdresser oil doesn't always have to be used on wet hair, it's really nice as a blow dry finisher as well. So we're going to start the blow dry now um, and I'm going to be using a flat brush so it's going to give you some volume with a slight bubble and smoothness. So now I'm going to go in and start with my flat brush. I'm smoothing it down with the heat and then I'm doing a little twist so I can keep some movement in the hair. In the front I'm going to blow dry everything going back and I'm going to twist it at about eye level and clip it so it, A, it can keep it out of your eyes but also when it cools down and you take it out you get a nice bubble right by eye line. And I'm going to take the brush out and roll the hair right at that bevel when I want it to drop. And then I'm gonna use a clip and clip it up out of the way. So then when you take it out and it cools down, you get a nice little bend so it'll sweep down over the, over the eyes and go back. So now I'm done blow drying, we're just gonna take this clip out and do some detailing. Mm. So I'm gonna be using some of our medium flexible hold hairspray. Turn it oh. and click it. And I'm just gonna slick back this section and then attach it in the back. So I'm gonna use the same flat brush I blew out with to smooth the product in and to get a nice clean grain going back. So I'm going to take a diagonal section towards the back. So I'm going to clip the hair out of the way. And I'm going to take my section that I've already smoothed back and hold it like a, like a little ponytail. And I'm going to take a section of hair from the underneath and make another little ponytail. And then I'm gonna use a small elastic and just do a little ponytail. A mini pony. All the rest of the hair will lay over. So it looks really natural, but it looks clean and sleek. It does. So you don't wow. have to fight. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I can't believe you could do this to my hair. All right, I'm so excited. So to recap, we're doing um, a quick textured ponytail with some volume and we're using the dry spun finish product from our thickening line. So first I'm just gonna prep your hair with some of the dry spun finish. And I'm just mainly 
using this right on the root. I don't want to put any on the ends yet. And mostly in the crown area where I want to bulk the volume. And this product is meant to be used on dry hair, not on wet hair. So it's perfect for refreshing a style or for after a style. To get the ponytail going in the direction that I want it to go in, I'm gonna blow dry a little bit just to get the root direction going straight back. So now I'm gonna take a top section and I'm gonna take this section and I'm gonna clip it away and we'll worry about that afterwards. Well, so I'm gonna add some more dry spun finish because when doing um, updos or ponytails, if the hair's too silky, everything, it's hard to work with. Right. Everything just keeps falling out. So I'm just gonna go through section by section. Makes it a little easier. You wanna apply it where the hair is gonna live. So if the hair is gonna live back here, apply your product in that way. Cool, so bungees are a great way to do ponytails or updos because you can control the tension. You hook one of the hooks in, you wrap it around the head, and then you wrap it around again, getting a little bit tighter. You take the other loose end, and you just tuck it in close to the scalp. So now let's do the top. We're gonna add some more dry spun, and it's translucent, so you're not gonna see little bits of it. Oh, there. look at that. <laughs> I think we should just leave it at this. Right? Yeah, you always have to start bigger um, before you get it where you want it to go. So since we already have the bottom secured, I'm just gonna use my hands and get this top part where, where I want it to be. So again, I'm gonna go in with the bungee and loop it in, less tension, not as tight. If you don't have a colorful elastic, wrapping hair around it. So you take the hair, I'm gonna rough it up with my fingers, and you take it from the bottom. And then I'm gonna start wrapping it around and as I wrap, I'm gonna wrap it closer to the base of the head so the little tail can tuck inside. And you can secure it with a hairpin. Cool, so yeah, that's it. That's how to achieve a ponytail with some texture and volume using dry spun finish. Misha, I love my hair. Thank you so much for introducing me to all these Bumble and Bumble products. And guys, now you know how to do it. So go to Sephora, check it out, and look at the details below for all the information on the prizes. And comment below what you think. Bye. Bye.